Hi, my name is Neil Raker. I'm an application engineer with Xair Corporation. I'm here today to talk to you about our electronic temperature control system. Xair's electronic temperature control system is used in conjunction with Xair cabinet cooler systems to provide temperature control for the inside of an electrical enclosure. The electronic temperature control consists of the electronic control module, solenoid valve, mounting hardware, and you also receive an installation and maintenance guide. The electronic temperature controller comes pre-wired with a solenoid valve and all connections made inside the electronic control module for you already. The only connections that need to be made are for the power, which are the, in this case, the black and the white wire and the ground wire. The brown wire is the type J thermocouple that actually does the temperature sensing for you inside the cabinet. I should also mention that there are two models of the electronic temperature control available. One is for 120 volts AC connection and the other is for 240 volts AC connection. The first thing I want to do is show you how the electronic temperature controller is connected to the compressed air and into the panel to receive its power. You'll notice the top conduit coming out of the electronic controller box comes to solenoid valve, which is connected to our compressed air supply, and then goes into the cabinet cooler itself. The second conduit coming out goes into the panel through a one half inch hole and then we can make our wire connections inside. The electronic temperature controller has three buttons. The push to set is for setting the set point for the cabinet cooler to come turn on and off and then you have up and down arrow keys which are used for setting um, a few of the parameters on the device. The first thing that you can adjust is called calibration offset. Occasionally some users might use the ETC in a panel that has other temperature sensing equipment installed. If the temperature displayed on the ETC does not match the existing equipment, it can be offset to match. To do this, you press and hold both arrow keys for 5 seconds. Then the word cal comes up, and once it does, you can actually adjust the offset by however many degrees that you would need to in order to match the other display. You can go as much as 30 degrees in either direction. I'm going to set this back to zero. The next thing that you can do is change the units of measure. Right now we have degrees Fahrenheit shown you can change to degrees Celsius. The way in which you do this is you press and hold both arrow keys for 10 seconds and then you'll have the F and C show. Then you just toggle back and forth between F and C for degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. In this case I'll keep it in Fahrenheit and then you just leave it go. The last thing that you can do is to set the thermostat set point. The manner in which you do this is you push the push to set button and then you can adjust up and down where you want your set point for the cabinet cooler to come on and off at. I'm going to set this one to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have the installation made properly and you have the compressed air connected, you can energize the unit for both electricity and compressed air and it's ready to use on your application. This concludes my presentation for the electronic temperature controller. If you have any questions about this unit or about cabinet coolers in general or any of our other products, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-903-9247 
or you can reach us on the web at www.xair.com. Thank you.